All right, man, well, just what can you say about your performance tonight, uh, kind of putting on a show a little bit? I mean, I just went out to play hard, you know, just try to get the W half on my team. So you have the first baseline dunk, dunk on somebody's head, just, you know, almost ends his life, and then you go back and do it again a second time. Just what went through your head on both of those? I mean, that's just something my uh, father's been telling me since I was a kid. Since I started playing basketball and started dunking, it's like you got to play above the rim. Not many people can jump up to that, jump up that high. So playing above the rim, and nobody can block it. So instead of doing a layup, you get it blocked. And it might as well just dunk it. We saw that one dunk in transition last year, uh, that breakaway dunk. I think you dunked on somebody, but is this the biggest highlight you think of your Kentucky career so far? And then, uh, just is that something that you're kind of anticipating for yourself moving forward? What you're, you what you want to show this year? Uh, yeah, for sure. I think that's something I just want to show this year because I think that's just a big part of my game, just playing above the rim, you know. So. I think that just you know that's part of my game. What what is your confidence level right now, and just kind of your game, your development, you know who you are as a basketball player? I mean, my, I got a good confidence level because you know, ever since uh, off season last year after the season, I've been you know in the gym putting in where it gets better. So I think my confidence level is where it's supposed to be. Yeah, your face-up game is something that you were able to show in high school. We didn't get to see much of it last year. Just uh, what has your growth been there, and, and just how confident are you in your jump shot? I mean, that's something I've been, like I said, back to when uh, after the season last year, that's something I've been working on a lot. So, you know, I think I have a, a good confidence in my face of game, my uh, full ups, you know, stuff like that. So, I think that's something I do have confidence in. And you finished down low through some contact. You know, everybody talked about, uh, yeah, he has the face up. Yeah, he can dunk on people's heads. But we're still waiting to see, you know, him, the physical side of you. Uh, what, did that kind of mean something to you that you're kind of able to show that you, you, you are starting to fill out a little bit and the physical side is there? I mean, it did. You know, just in practice, you know, going against Oscar Land, Jacob, somebody that's bigger than me, you know, that's physical. They helped me a lot too. So, you know, just being able to do that, it means a lot. How are those workouts going with, with Brady and just kind of uh, how is your weight training going and, and kind of developing your body? I mean, it's been going pretty good. You know, Brady, he pushed me every day, you know, to get in the uh, weight room, eat more, stuff like that, just to get my body right. So, you know, it's been going pretty good. Who, who is the better dunker on the team right now, you or Jacob? Uh, you know, I really don't know. You know, we never just, you know, have dunk off him. Like we just, you know, we both can jump high. Uh, who had the better dunk tonight? His 360 in, in transition, or, or either of your two uh, posters? Uh, I think his 360. His 360 was tough. His 360 was tough. <laughs> Just what can you say about his growth and kind of his game? It feels like he's playing with some freedom uh, that he didn't necessarily have this year or th this past season. I mean, just seeing his growth, because he knows he's been in the gym just like I have. So I know just seeing his growth, it means you know it means a lot to me and to the team. You know, just because he's my teammate. You know. Seeing him do good, that means, that means uh, a lot to me too. I think the team finished with nine blocks, I think. Um, in ten blocks, just is that kind of something that you feel as a team, your all's length uh, is going to be, uh, can make you all a special defensive team? Yeah, I think that does mean a lot because, you know, there's something to tell you know, uh, you know, we long team, you know, just get up block shots, rebound, take good defense. So I think that's something that really good for the team is good. This was uh, our first time seeing Kaysen in person. You've known him for a long time. He's basically family to you. Uh, just what do you think? Uh, what did you think of his debut as a Wildcat? Uh, I think he played pretty good. You know, uh, me personally, I'm not surprised. I've been seeing him do that for many years. So I think uh, he had a good debut. And I think uh, it's something to see for the rest of the season. What does he bring to the table? Uh, give, give a scouting report of somebody you've known kind of longer than anybody else. I mean, just an all-around point guard. You know, he can play defense real good. You know, he can score the basketball. So I think he's just an all-around point guard. Yeah, and Chris is somebody that, uh, it, you know, expectations are high for him. He was knocking down shots. What did, what did you think about his game today? I mean, I think he had a good game, too. You know, it, it's a good, you know, it's good seeing a freshman come in, you know, just play good. So I think seeing him today, that's something we'll be seeing for the rest of the season, too. What, what do you think his role is going to be on this team? Uh... You know, I really don't know. I really don't know where his role could be, but you know, I know all you gotta do is just get in, play hard on both ends of the floor. You know, he'd be a good player. Uh, Adu is somebody that I don't think a lot of fans knew a whole lot about um, when even when he signed. Uh, but tonight was kind of you know he was getting steals, he was getting dunks in transition, blocking shots. Uh, just kind of what can you say about his game? 
I mean, I think he had a good game too uh, today. You know, he was on the sideline. He was talking about how like he was uh, ready to get in. He, like he was kind of nervous, but you know, I just told him, like, I mean, get in, just play basketball, just play your game. You know, he did that. You see, he had a good game tonight. What what can he bring to the table? I know he's kind of an energy guy, but but uh, from your experience seeing him in practice and going up against him every day, just kind of what what is a do theory as a basketball player? Uh, I think he can bring a lot to the table. You know, he can uh, score the basketball. You know, he can play defense. And, you know, he's kind of he's long. You know, he get in the passing lane, steal balls, dunk them, and stuff like that. So I think he'll bring a lot to the table. You, you talked about Lance and, and battling against him. Uh, he's showing off some some crazy euros in transition and, and dribbling from the top of the key and stuff. Just you know, what what can you say about his growth and who he is as a basketball player now? I mean, I think you know, just going back to uh, like me and Jacob, Lance been putting in the same work we have, you know. So I think uh, just seeing his growth, you know, he got, you know, the uh, fadeaway game, the Euro, all the stuff you see, that stuff he's been working on. So I think that's something to see for the rest of the season too. And then Oscar is somebody that, that you know, the expectations are obviously high for him coming back as the National Player of the Year. Uh, how have you seen his game grow? Obviously, he's talking about knocking down three pointers. Have you been seeing that in practice? And, and how else do you think he's, his game has grown? Yeah, I think his game has grown a lot. You know. Him, like the uh, three he missed in the corner, that's something he, he can knock down for sure. I've been seeing him knock down a lot of those in practice. So just seeing how, uh, you know, he was a national player of the year last year, but seeing the growth he has made since last year, his, uh, his all-around game has been pretty good. So I know that bring a lot to the table too. I think yesterday in the open practice, you hit 51 threes in that five-minute drill. Mm -hmm. But whatever it was, obviously you, you can, you know, shoot from three as well. Just how good of a, a three-point shooter can you be who, that you are right now and, and that you can be um, maybe by the end of this year? I mean, I think I can be a pretty good three-point shooter. You know, that's something I work on a lot. But, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, it's not the primary part of my game. You know, I just, you know, get to the lane, you know, one drill pull-up, stuff like that. Then when I do need to shoot a three, I'll take a three. But, you know, that's something that I have been working on a lot. How good do you think this team can be, both defensively and just as a whole? Uh, I think this team can be real good because, you know, we do have a – all around team, we a long team that can play defense, then can score the ball at the same time. So I think we'll be a pretty good team for this season. Yeah, Cal said last night in the team meeting that he wanted to, to use tonight as a chance to kind of show fans that this team has a chance to be, you know, something special, maybe a title contender. Do you think you guys went out and showed that tonight? Uh, most definitely. I think uh, the performance we had tonight was pretty good. You know, everybody went out, played hard, played defense, you know, scored the ball. So I think uh, we'll be a pretty good team for this season.